Hi internet friends, this is Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I'm going to do something a little different. And I'm going to use this, uh, this PDF of this helm that I need to build as a model in Chief Architect. So follow along. I'm going to do some uh, speed up versions so you don't get so bored, but then talk through some of the intricacies of how I might um, deal with some of the things I come across on just this first floor plan only for now. And um, well, let's get started. Well, this is the PDF version. So I'm going to go into, I'm using Chief Architect X15, Chief Architect Premier version X15. And I'm going to, let's see, this is the file. In my file explorer, I'm using a Windows laptop. I'm going to drag this right here onto my Chief Architect screen and pull the file explorer. Come on, out of the way, maybe. There we go. Uh, that first floor plan is on page three. So I'm going to just click to page three. I could, could import all pages, but for now I'm just going to do page three and confirm that is the first floor plan and click OK. Very first thing I need to do is make sure that this is scaled correctly because this PDF is essentially, I'm going to draw a straight line here, make sure it is not quite rotated uh, horizontally. You can see when I drew this line, I'm going to draw this line right here again. That is a couple degrees off from this dimension line. So I cannot use the scale point to point resize because it's really not quite it, this. I found this only works when it is hor exactly horizontal. So I'm going to draw a line across this 72 foot dimension line. I try to use the largest dimension given. Typically as I'm drawing these lines, I can hit F10, but I forgot that stops my recording. So I'm just, F10 does the uh, angle snaps, turns off angle snaps. So I'm just going to turn off angle snaps manually and draw my line here. And as I'm drawing, I'm just going to scroll in, zoom into this spot. I'm going to make sure my line ends up approximately where that dimension line intersects itself. Zoom in on this end too and do the same. And I'm doing this so that I get the length and the angle correct. Okay, so when I open up the line, I can tell what the angle is. That's how much I need to rotate the plan and how much the length is. So I'm then going to go to, I'm going to pull up a Google page and I'm going to say 72 feet divided by, I copied the length of that line exactly. Interesting. So it's right at 72 feet already when it came in. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to change the scale of it. I'm just going to change the rotation. Let's copy that angle. I'm going to highlight everything but the negative. And I'm going to select the PDF page and the line, and I'm going to transform, replicate, rotate that right there and just paste that number in there. Now that should be if I draw a line across here that should be in a straight line. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Now we're now we're better. Interesting that it came in pretty much right at 72 feet. I'll just double check that as I draw 
across here, you'll see down at the uh, lower middle part of my screen where it says 71 foot 9. So it's not quite. So I will go back to the Google here, and this says to when I, you multiply when you do the division the way I did, 72 feet divided by the full length of the line, you get the multiplier. So I'm going to highlight this 1.0036 number, and that's how much I need to scale this up. So when I transform replicate, I'm going to resize. And now we'll double check this 72 feet. Look at that. 71.11 and 11.16, that's pretty darn close because one Pixel over is 72, 0, and 3 eighths. Okay, double click on my exterior wall defaults. I want my wall types to be, it's a brick for existing, not new, existing, there we go. I'm going to define this as a solid fill. And we'll say yellow. And I'm going to make it 50% transparent, 54% works. That way I can see what I'm actually, what has actually been traced. I'm going to right click and drag in a clockwise position. And from here, what I'm just trying to do is pick corner to corner to corner across here. Now, this Foyer does say it's a two by six wall. I will just use two by four for now and come back and break that wall and change it to two by six later. For now, I'm going to just trace the exterior walls. And adjust the brick ledge because I know these walls from here on around are not full height uh, brick. I like doing the right click because um, from here I'm just doing left click, one click each at the uh, corners. So left click, and I don't have to just keep, I don't have to repeat the, the command of the wall every time. I'm going to go straight through the fireplace, come back and do the fireplace later. Okay, that's the whole house. The exterior. <laughs> now I'm going to do a auto exterior dimensions, but I don't need to be in as built view. I'm going to go to working plan view because that has a different uh, dimension default. So I'm going to do my exteriors. Okay, so 62 feet would go to the garage because of this 10 foot here to this third car garage. So I'm just going to make that 62 feet. I'm going to say that this is my corner that I'm going to work on going around. So this will be 12 inches. This will be eight foot nine, etc.
I will say, even though this says 40 foot six and that matches what the print say, do click on that and just make sure it is 40 foot six. Sometimes 40 foot six might be 40 foot 5.954, you know? And if you want these dimensions to end up being exact, you need to make sure they are exact. So I'm gonna change my interior walls to also have that yellow 54%. Well, so the exterior, this uh, 10 and 1 16th is going to bug me. And not having this 9 foot 4 and a half is going to bug me. But I'm not sure what else to do at this point. Um, and this should also be 10 0. Something's not, I don't know what they measured to on this here. So I go back to the PDF here and just try to understand. That's 10 and that's 10 -0. This is going to be 14 foot what? We can figure that out real quick, can't we? Fourteen one and three quarters. Well, look at that, would you? Okay. That's the exterior. Now to draw the interior. There you have it, other than doors and windows and floor heights and ceiling heights and all that good stuff. I've traced out the first floor plan. Need to drop in some cabinets, fixtures, appliances, etc. Uh, fireplace, build a, build a um, foundation, build out the basement, second floor, porch. Still a lot of work to go, but this way you can kind of see what we did, what I did here to um, to trace this out and, and to know where I'm working from. You'll notice I did change my dimension defaults to show, to kind of mimic what the plan shows so I'm not having to do mental calculations. Um, and that way just things work out well. It's nice to see that I made some assumptions that the Dimensions were dimensioning to an actual three and a half inch stud and the overall dimensions along with the internal strings uh, Met up with that expectation. So ad that all adds up correctly and uh, Once I figured that out it was easy to continue running on with it um, 
Once again, some of these things will be like, adjust this to, to be a two by six wall. Uh, to show properly. And then what I'll do is I'll just go back and take out the yellow fill of those wall types so that um, I'm not working with, whoops, let's turn off that. I'm not working with the yellow. I don't want to see that as a, uh, I don't want to see the yellow fill in my plans. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching along. If you like this information, please click like and subscribe down there. And would you consider uh, leaving a tip? You can send a monetary donation for this uh, time and effort and education that you receive. PayPal.me slash Design Build Solutions. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful week.